What's up everyone, Karu here, and we're back with another 4.5 now what lesson with yours truly, Winston Du. Winston recently asked me a question that I think a lot of you will relate to, which is when to hit different types of forehand, right? When to hit it flatter, when to hit it with more spin and height, when to use an angle. I think that sometimes uh, amateur players get confused on that decision. So if you're struggling with that, we're gonna fix that today. So let's get right to work. All right, so Winston already knows what we're gonna do, but part one, we need to focus on one thing, decision making. The decision on, of how you're going to hit each shot depends on the ball that was hit to you. Meaning that the spin, the speed, the height, the direction of your shot has to be decided as soon as your opponent hits the ball, before the ball bounces on your side. Between the moment that your opponent hits the shot and the ball bounces on your side, there's that split second when you know the ball is giving you all that information, if it's coming fast to you, high, short, deep, whatever, and then you can make that decision based on that information. Obviously, that's a lot of information, so we have to simplify it. How do you do that? You just split it in three categories. Am I about to hit an offensive shot, a neutral shot, or a defensive shot? And of course, you have to learn how to feel that, right? Maybe a shot that looks like it's an offensive opportunity might not be, let's say, a, a short, kind of annoying slice that you think, oh, I have to be offensive here because I'm inside the core. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you might be forcing something that doesn't really exist. Here's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna play some points and, and, and do some rallying where Winston is gonna try to call out loud which shot he's about to hit. If he's hitting a defensive shot, a neutral shot, or an offensive shot, right? I want this to look something like this. I'm hitting and it's like neutral, boom, nice and easy. Neutral, because I'm not totally in offense here yet. Neutral, nothing has happened. Oh, offense, I can step into that one a little bit more. If you can make that decision fast, Winston, it makes it a lot easier to then, am I playing flatter? Am I playing more, you know, with more height? Anything like that. So see what's happening off his strings. Before the ball bounces, I would like for you to have that decision already. Moving the feet. Neutral. Neutral. Good. Here we go. Didn't call it. Neutral. Neutral. Didn't call it. All right, offense. Nice, good. Neutral. Here we go, moving the feet a bit more, come on. Uh, defense. Good, defense, that's the way. Neutral. Neutral. Oh. Offense. Oh, nice, I like it. Neutral. 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 Oh. Offense. Nice. It's probably not but, the best one to... Not the best one, because <laughs> the, the one before was short, wasn't a good ball. Uh, defense. Good, defense. Neutral. Good opportunity to attack there. Uh, offense. Play it. Nice. Neutral. Neutral. Yeah, it's the right decision. Neutral. Uh, offense. Nice. Uh, neutral. Oh, uh, it took you a little while. <laughs> See how decision making plays a huge role into yeah. how we're hitting. So, neutral, offensive. Bah. Ooh, went for it. Even if I had to back up a little bit, the gate it allowed me to. It was a slower ball, allowed me to really step myself mm -hmm. and find that opportunity. Go ahead. All right, neutral. 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 Oh. Defense. Nice. Neutral. Good. See, see how we live on neutral? Like we live, we dine on neutral. If your neutral is good, we wait for the right opportunity to be offensive. It right? could be just the drill, but I feel like I'm rushing to get to offense. But I don't think I should. You should. Not in a it, real match play. No, you shouldn't. You should stay at neutral until really it's clear offense. Neutral. That was an offense one. Uh, neutral. All right, offense. Nice. Oh. Offense. Nice. Oh, nice shot. There you go. You see? And again, you go offense. If you go offense, 
you can still go back to neutral, right? Yeah. It doesn't mean it's offense. I'm in here and next one is offense. Yeah. There's one offense and then if the next one allows you to be offensive, great. If it doesn't, you reset with, with neutral. Nice, there you go. You see, you won the point with four yeah. defensive shots in a row. You didn't yeah. panic, you didn't get in your own way. You just allowed yourself to hit the defensive shots and survive another ball. And you know one more thing that can mess up with your decision making on court? Fatigue. When I'm tired, I start making all kinds of dumb mistakes. But now I have a solution for that. Element electrolytes. I'm actually getting ready for a match right now and Element is gonna help me stay hydrated. Element is an amazing electrolyte mix with all the stuff that you need and nothing that you don't, that means a lot of salt and no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio with none of the junk. That means no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. Element can help prevent fatigue, muscle cramps, sleeplessness, headaches, and all sorts of things that happen when we're electrolyte deficient. And since I'm playing a tournament right now, that can't happen. I need to be at my best. Right now, Element is offering my viewers, you guys, a free sample pack with any Element order. That's eight single packet servings for free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours right now at drinkelement.com slash mytennishq. You must go to D-R-I nklmnt.com slash mytennishq that's drinkelement.com slash mytennishq to get the offer stay physically and mentally sharp on court with element get yours now link down below all right so now that we understand this concept of you know the ball makes the decision a little bit more um, we're going to work on winston's like offensive shots defensive shots and neutral shots. I'm gonna feed him some balls and we're gonna work on that. Like the flatter ones, the more angle ones, uh, obviously the more neutral ones, high spin, all that stuff. All right, let's do it. So let's start with offensive shots. All right, first a bit more through the court, the flat one, not really flat, a little more through. Use, use your body, push to the target and let it fly, okay? The decision is already okay. made. Either Anywhere way. you want. Right. The decision is made, make the decision on what side you wanna hit and let it fly. Right. Let it fly. Boom, there you go. Push through it, really push to the target. There you go, that's a great shot. Really push to the target. Oh boom. no. It's okay. And boom, nice, last two. Good, there you go. Last one. Good, see? The ball, when the ball is a little bit higher, kind of chest high, that's the one that you can like really rip through it. You know, get at that tight spin and let it fly. Yeah, so now we're gonna do a few angles, all right? I want aggressive angles. I'm gonna open the court a little bit more. I right. want you to try to hit that, that aggressive angle, all right? There you go, good. Nice ball, there you go. Doesn't matter how you, you get it there, just get it there. It can be a bit more aggressive still. Oh no. There you go, you're stuck on the ground there. Come on, feet, feet. There yeah. it is. Find a way here. There you go, last two. There you go. Last one, terrible ball there. Guys, nice. right? So when you're playing a point, you need to look for that shot to be aggressive, right? Because yep. try to hit an angle of this shot. You did it. Oh, tough, but that's a difficult shot. Yeah. Right, again, boom, fast. Not the ball for an angle, right? What, what do you do on that shot? Just neutral down the middle, yeah. right? All right, now offensive in, from, the, from the back end corner. Okay, so you're gonna be running around. It's, okay, either way. Well, Go back to the middle, go either way. Here we go, run around it. Boom, nice. That's, your, that's the shot that you need to be looking to. All right, that was a bit deep, but you can still be aggressive. Move forward, move forward through the court. Oh, I didn't move. Yeah, I didn't move, all feet. Put, there, oh. put more through with your legs. Good, there you go, last two. Come on, go around. Boom, those are your offensive shots. Those are your offensive shots. There you go, that's all day. When you're playing, you need to look for those. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do a couple combos. Okay, I'm gonna give you a forehand neutral here that you can hit anywhere, and then I'm gonna give you that shot. Okay. Okay? So neutral with a bit more pace. Long, try to play long, high, okay? Long and high, good. And then you got this one. 
Beautiful, Ooh. that's okay. Again. Neutral, beauty. And then you got your offensive one, through. Beauty, here we go, last two. Neutral, good. Then you got your offensive. Ah. Wait, one more, one more. Here we go, one more, one more. Neutral. Nice, then you get your offensive one. Yeah, there you go. Bro, I'm, getting, I'm out of breath. All right, all right, let's go. Ready? Neutral, good. Work on that neutral, I can go anywhere, I can go anywhere. Here we go. Good, staying alive, staying alive. There she is. There you go. That was a good shot. That, was that a, wasn't a oh, side yeah, but enough. It's fine, it's fine. You gotta think about who you're playing, right? Neutral. Ooh. Neutral. There you go. There you go. Last two. Or last, last set here. Ready? Neutral. If, if anything, defense on that one, right? High. That's the ball. That's the neutral. That's it. And then, there you go. That's perfect. Take a little breather. All right, so now we're going to go defense. All right, first one, just on the run forehand. Okay, on the run, then return, get back to the middle. We'll do four balls. Okay, what do you do with that shot? On, with your style, what's the best way to defend? High and deep. High and deep. There we go. Ready? Nice. It's a good ball. Nice. Can be a bit deeper. I huh? can lift it a bit more. Oh, no. Yeah, recover a bit more. Recover a bit more. Hey, go. Nice. That's the shot. Nice ah. ball. That's it. Nice. That's one. It's a hell of a shot. No one is doing anything with that. It's landing this far from the baseline. All right, now I want you to play one that this one is for Winston. With a lot of spin, he can back up, run around the back end, but still be offensive. So your core positioning might not yeah. look as offensive, but you can still be offensive because you like that heavy ball. Yeah. So I'm going to play high and heavy to the back end. You play high and heavy to my back end, and you earn the short ball. Yeah. All right, ready? That's a good ball. Yeah, that's a hell of a shot. You can do that all day. Yeah, oh, no. that's okay. Drive with the legs, all right? Yes. Ooh, that's a hell of a shot. That sets you up for success. Last two. Last one. That's good. All right, so that's the end of the lesson. I just want to hear Winston's thoughts here. Yeah, so the drill with the offense, defense, neutral. Um, I think it's something you think of as players subconsciously, maybe around my level, maybe you think about it more. But like, I think of it subconsciously, but today actually um, trying to think about it every single shot really helps set you up to choose the right shot in the right situation. And also one thing I realized was it's fine being a neutral um, um, ball after ball after ball, because you want to work the point, you want to be patient, and you don't want to rush to the offense ball, because if you rush the offense ball, it's probably not going to be the right or the best opportunity to go on offense and you're going to miss it. So. Yeah, definitely Double like cr there. creating Creating the offensive shot comes from like hitting decent neutral shots. And, and you, as you saw, got to work the point. And as you saw during the points, when he was playing, when I was playing, like we live in neutral. We, we'll save some balls in defense. We'll hit a few offensive shots, but we're really living in neutral. I would like to add, the, so I play with a little more spin on the forehand. So I like hitting those deep spinning ones, especially from uh, further back in the baseline. So if you guys are more similar to my style, you can take that and use those. But if you're more similar to a flat style, right? You can, Maybe you want to step in a little bit. Um, yep. What would you do if uh, they play with a flat style on their back, back here? What kind of forehand would you hit? I still would play a higher ball. Okay. Like I still on my forehand shot. If you still play, um, let's say, a, more through the core like I do, then it's it's core positioning. You got to win with core positioning. So if I'm I, if I'm too far behind the baseline, a flatter shot is going to be hard to hit deep. 
So I need to adjust the arc of so my even ball. Even you add some arc. I eat a, I add a lot of margin on my forehand. I'm looking to be offensive through the court, yeah. but when I'm pushed back, yeah. I'm playing with height because height is going to give me depth and I, I can hopefully get back into good court position. Yeah. So if you're going far back, height's always a good thing um, unless you really like have to hit a passing shot or something yeah. like that. Well then, so your, your strength is more your back end. So maybe you wouldn't run around so many forehands, right? You just rip the back end? Or not I would, depending on the, the the shot, I would maybe try to take a back end earlier instead of running around, yeah. letting that ball saddle. So yeah, probably with my my game style, if someone plays heavy to my back end, um, I'm gonna try to step in yeah. and take a back end. Yeah, that's just how I see the game. And so my game style is different. So I would like to run around, and hit the forehand. Yeah, so my backhand's a lot weaker. Exactly. Forehand, so. so it's all based on styles, preferences. Based on style. Figure out your own game. Exactly. And then you know, the more you can understand that. Make those decisions according to your game, the easier it becomes. Yep. All right. All right, guys. Go subscribe to, to Winston's channel. Uh, this guy, he's for sure going to get to 100K <laughs> soon and pass day, everybody. He <laughs> gets way more views than everybody on the channel. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. It really helps give us. A thumbs up. Yeah, got to get the thumbs up out there. Um, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys on the next one.